G'day, night time here. Uh, going on one of my little trips, my little journeys uh, away. Well, not away really, it's just a day trip really. Up into the Adelaide Hills, uh, the wine region. So I thought I'd uh, video it and bring you along. As you can see, it's a very nice day today. Blue skies. Some clouds, which I hope stay away. <laughs> okay, here we are at Mount Lofty uh, Summit Lookout. We're in the car park at the moment. Despite how it might look like in the background there. <laughs> Up there is the lookout tower. Checks for fires in the Adelaide Hills and the, on the Adelaide Plains. So, uh, let's go check the lookout. As you can see, the uh, the weather has not improved. What used to be nice uh, blue skies this morning has uh, um, become overcast a little bit. Here is a different viewpoint of the uh, watchtower and the Adelaide Plains. Unfortunately, <laughs> not one of the best uh, viewing days today, but we get what we've got. Okay, Adelaide is down there. Let's try and zoom in. <laughs> there it is, we can see it. <laughs> okay, here we are at um, Woodside at Melbourne's chocolate shop. The last time I went on a trip like this, we actually ended up here, uh, different company, at the uh, chocolate shop and at the cheese shop next door. So let's go in and have a, a, um, a kid the chocolate shop experience. Okay, we're inside now. If only you could smell this place, it smells delicious. So in through the turnstile. As you might imagine, during Easter we have the Easter Bunny. But better yet, we have here in Australia the Easter Bilby, one of our native uh, animals. And this is Melbourne's, Melbourne's Chocolate Factory, where you can get all sorts of nibble sweets, chocolates, sweets, toffees and all sorts. Licorice all sorts. As you can see there's a variety of chocolate types. You get kittens, puppies, chocolate bread men, <laughs> frogs, they're more like toads, and freckles. Just to give you an idea, there's my hand <laughs> and there's the freckle behind it. Good Lord. And since we're in Australia, we have a Australian sense of humour. Sheep nuts. <laughs> Basically chocolate covered sultanas, mixed fruit and so forth. Some varieties of fudge. An actual green chocolate frog. I wonder if it's mint flavoured. <laughs> Keeping with Australian humour, <laughs> I give you the cow pat. 
Good Lord. <laughs> Well, we finished in the uh, Melbourne Chocolate uh, shop. Probably a good thing, otherwise <laughs> we'd never leave. So I'm now going into the cheese uh, shop, which is just over here. So let's see what they have inside for us today. Here we are inside. And not only cheeses, but other local... Um, Delicacies. And of course, the cheeses. The last time I was here, I got, I think, called uh, Goat on a Hot Tin Roof. I thought it was quite nice. It's basically goat cheese and chilli. <laughs> there we go, goat on a hot tin roof. Might get myself some more of this before I leave. Okay, we've stopped off at, uh, at one of our first wineries for the tour. You may think, <laughs> you may think what, are you, what are you doing in a winery tour since you don't drink? Uh, still good scenery. This one's called Barristers, up here in Woodcroft. And as you can see, they also have um, sculptures. There's our bus for today. This sculpture over here uh, could be defined as a bit puzzling. <laughs> it was like a conference centre or something where you could uh, have a bit of a party. We were just discussing this bath here. But I reckon it'd probably be good if just uh, plug it up. Ice in there and some of the cans or whatever you like to keep cool. <laughs> and a better view of the function area. Something you don't see very often here in Australia is deer. <laughs> I'm somewhat reluctant to get anywhere close to this fence because it's electrified. <laughs> Hello chicks. We got some are of course universal, you see them everywhere. <laughs> Looks like the keys come to play. <laughs> of these sculptures around the area and come across a picture of this one <laughs> where I just happened to be sitting. <laughs> so I was actually sitting on one of the sculptures. You are? Yes you are, you're sitting on the sculpture. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? 
Anyway, next up is the Berenberg Strawberry Farm and Factory. As you can see here, it's for strawberry. We can stick our heads into the uh, Okay, we're inside the, uh, the shop. So you may recognise the brand, Bierenberg. Or jams, chutneys, and sauces, so you can cook the stick it. <laughs> Part of what you can do here at the uh, Bundaberg uh, farm is to pick your own strawberries. As you can see, it's not exactly good picking weather. It's so just starting to rain on me, and I've only got. I only picked up a few strawberries. Very few. But now that I know that this is here, I might come back again some other time when it's uh, not raining so much. <laughs> okay, we're in uh, Handorf now. As you can see here in Australia, we're uh, going through oh, the autumn there, the one after summer and before winter. <laughs> There's something fairly new. I haven't seen the fruit truck, fruit truck shop before. So before we saw some really big fruits, what we do is put some chocolate into these um, moulds, and then just by hand get the sprinkles from here, and basically sprinkle the mould. Just like that. <laughs> this is new. It's called the Angel of Handorf. Apparently. As with most uh, country towns, uh, little villages up in the hills or wherever, you'll often find the craft shops such as we have here. And because it's Easter, we have, as you might imagine, an Easter theme. Okay, we're now in the Handorf Hill Winery. This one's a bit special because it has a um, an option of being able to match wines with chocolate. So, <laughs> uh, as far as we are aware, this is the only place in South Australia, or perhaps very one of the few places in the world that can actually do that, or actually actually does that. So, if you're ever in the Adelaide Hills and uh, in Handorf in particular, come to the Handorf Hill Winery. 
and check out one of their options for uh, matching wines with chocolate. <laughs> Here we see the uh, parlor winery down there. And while I was going to say that's um, spider webs down there, it's not, it's just plain netting to keep the uh, birds out. A very picturesque area nonetheless. Australian wineries tend to be fairly unique with the uh, often the gum tree in the skyline as you can see in the background there. <laughs> 